Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you're doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, listen, let's go straight to the topic. Listen to what the Kenya Minister of Tories have to say. Listen to him, and uh, I'll be right back. I'm glad that Africa is waking up. You know, Africa is waking up. How could you create borders for Africa and our so-called leaders, the puppet of the West and the gatekeepers of the West, still kept that borders and boundaries that you guys kept for over 400 years ago, they still kept it. If you have to travel from Nigeria to Kenya or to South Africa, it's like you're going to New York. You'd rather go to New York. It's not easy to go from 1.8 to 0.Z within the Africa continent. Whereas in the Europe, in European Union, you can literally travel from any part of the Europe from point A to Z with Schengen permit and Schengen visa or a Schengen resident. But in Africa, it's a hell. I want you all to listen to him, okay? And I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Thank you. In Berlin, Europeans sat down and subdivided our continent at time separating a brother from our sister. After they finished doing that and colonizing us, they, they went ahead and taught us to fear, hate, and keep away from each other. So you are my neighbor, but I fear you, and I want to mingle with you. Let me give you an example and use a few African examples. Today, it is easier for a European to travel within Europe without requirement of a visa. They can trade, make money, visit each other, spend money. And the European Union area, and they make a lot of money, they're becoming richer and richer every day. In Africa, our former colonies and what they taught us still prevails. Then they mingle among each other. Today in Africa, the reality is that for an African to visit a European nation, an ordinary African, to visit and repair a nation, is like, let me give you an example my teacher used to use. It's like trying to milk an elephant because of the visa process. However, for a European to visit an African nation, most of our nations, it is like a walk on the beach. It's like going to have a cup of tea. But then that is not the problem. The tragedy is that now for an African to visit a fellow African within the African Union, the visa restrictions in many of our nations among us, between our brothers and sisters, is like trying to brush the teeth of a crocodile. <laughs> I'm not sure if you all understood what he is saying. He's literally saying, if a European or any European person, the least person in Europe, if he has to come to Africa, it's like a walk in the park, the process for him to come to Africa. But should any Africa person wants to go to the, any European country or any Western country at all, forget it. The process alone will scare you. The cost, the obstacle, obstacles, the questions, the waiting time, the money, the time, it's going to frustrate you. It's like you're trying to milk, you know, an elephant, which is not possible for you trying to make an elephant. That is basically what he said. You know what I mean? And here he said, the other part that makes me really laugh, is like if an African person is trying to go to another African country because of the borders and separation they've caused in between us, it's like you're trying to brush the teeth of a crocodile. <laughs> so how possible are you going to go brush the, the teeth of a crocodile? You know how difficult that is? That is how difficult it is for an African person to travel from point A of Africa to the next point Z of Africa. Because of the boundaries and the borders these people have kept to keep us isolated, they made you be scared of each other, whereas they are living freely. If a black man sees a black man, he'll fall like he's in the devil that they've been projecting to him. Because you've literally, take a look at it. Everything you see black is devil. If you're watching the movie today, the image of the devil in the movie is a black person. If you're driving a tire, if you're driving a car, the tire is the black. If, you're, if there's a snow and there's a black ice, it's called black ice. Because when you strip on the ice, it's going to spill you over, put you in the dish bank or whatever. It's called black. So every bad thing is black. That is how they made it. So therefore, some ignorant blacks, when they see their fellow black, you can see their face, they're frowning. 
like they have seen the devil that the white man or the Westerner have told them about. Whereas forgetting that they too, they are the devil. You're just more guilty as the other black person. We are on the same page. We are suffering the same way. There's no one better pres black person different from the other, irrespective of your position that you might have occupied until the day you find a problem with a white person at your workplace. I have a friend who is a safety advisor, okay? Here in Canada, in Alberta, my dear friend, he's a safety advisor. He felt like he's part of the management. You wait until when he had an issue with the son of the project manager. And that is when he knew that there are boundaries he can cross. He was put to suspension for three days just because he stood up and told the guy, you're listening, how dare you talk to me? Is it because your dad is the project manager and you think you can just come and talk to people? I'm the safety advisor of this project. With due respect, I respect your dad as the project manager, but you can just come and talk to me. That was what he told the man's son. But when they had a meeting, the ball was a different game. And when he was telling me, I'm like, welcome to Canada. Although he's been in Canada as much as I've been around for 20 years, but he said he'd never been feel that victimized on T. I'm like, yeah, that is just welcome to Canada. So when you see a man, a black man, who is crumping because he has seen another fellow black man, he remembers what the white people have told him about black people, and he thinks he's more superior than the other person, he's an ignorant because we're on the same page. The white, the Europeans, the Caucasian, they don't know you being a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, a Togolese, a Jamaican, a Trinidadian. They call you black. It's we, the blacks, that know ourselves, like, oh, he's a Nigerian, he's a Ghanaian, he's a Togolese, he's a Mani, Malian, he's a uh, Trinidad, he's from St. Vincent, because we're ignorant. That is the borders they are put in between us to separate us, to make us full. Like, some people are special that some, where are we all suffering? 400 years of slavery experience, we all suffered it. Although we didn't, but our forefathers, the legacy we seen, the history, we knew what the black people went through. And especially those ones in the United States, the ignorant one. Some of them will, oh, don't call me African-American. I'm an African-American. You are an African-American. And that is why America told you, stay up in your passport, categorically, you are an African-American. Whether you believe it or not, but those ignorant ones, oh, no, I'm not an African. I was born in African. I was born in American. You wait until you have an issue. You wait until the police arrest you. You wait until you get caught by the police. And that is when you will be treated and you will know that you're an African, irrespective of you're born American. Come up, lads. Wake up. Let's have a united black. One nation, one currency, one independent. I say one people, one black. Thank you for watching through the presentation. Thank you for watching my channel. And thank you for supporting. I have a membership. Please, guys, look into the membership. If it's something you're interested to support this platform so I can be able to generate and produce more content, okay? So sign into my membership. It's not that too much. It's like you going to McDonald's to spend $3 or $4. And then McDonald's, you finish eating in one day, it's all gone. The rest become a waste. But you supporting this platform of $2 or $3 as a membership, I don't think it's going to be too much. So look into that. And also the merchandise that there, beautiful merchandise. You will never go wrong getting one. It's quality. This is my own personal merchandise because I have my picture on it. It's for my purpose only, this personal one. But the other merchandise that I have in there, I didn't put my picture. So you all want to take a look at that too. Even if it's a mug, you buy it. Socks. I mean, a hat, I got beautiful. Look at this hat. The quality, you never believe it. It's like from Dr. J's, the quality, except that it has my J Ezo expression logo on it. So look into that, guys. Support this platform. And uh, we're growing, guys. We're growing. I take all the fans, all my subscribers, and all the viewers. I took you guys like my family. So we're family, guys. So be part of this family and support this channel and be part of this family, guys. I want to say thank you. And if this is your first time, please kindly like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. I like to see the thumbs up. And also, I like to read comments. And I'm prompted to reply you irrespective of. Please leave a comment. I want to say thank you so much. And again, I will see you on Monday. Stay tuned for the next content. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and share. Subscribe to my channel. 
Jay Ezo Expression and comment below. Thank you for watching Jay Ezo Expression. Big up.